how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Thank yeah, you, you know, much. shout out to Keem for, for jumping on, and honestly- Shout out to Keem for jumping on in an interview he had absolutely nothing to do with and derailing it completely because he added nothing to it, but then he promoted his product. Okay, why are they why are they giving a shout out to Keemstar? Because Keemstar got them even more attention. When Keem showed up, all of a sudden even more people jumped on and they want that notoriety now. They think, oh, you said Keemstar was on our show. Keemstar was on the show because of me. Keemstar doesn't know who you are and never would have been on the show if it wasn't me on your show. Shout out to Keemstar. Okay. I'm the one. I'm the one with the successful YouTube channel. Me re. Great. Uh, Justin Kimmins says habitual liars will often admit uh, to part of their accusations Just to this. about the whole thing. In order to appear honest, Phil was doing that all day. Yes, because the accusations that get thrown at me by detractors are partially true, and then they take a part of that and turn it into something that's not, and that's how they claim it's, it, oh, don't you see? That the evidence is that this part was true, so the whole statement must be true. No, half of it was true, and then you made up the other half, but somehow now the whole statement's true. That's what they do. I think that's one of those things that, uh, you know, we, we were talking about body language before the show. Body and, uh, language? What's funny is someone just said you look visibly distressed. You were rocking a bit. I literally rock every single day on my stream because, as you know, I'm uncomfortable if I sit still because of my back injury. This is something, watch every one of my streams and I'm rocking. Everyone even criticizes me for it. Can't you sit still, right? I mean, yes. Correct. It's 100% true that this happens all the time. The rock, if you make jokes about it, rocking back and forth, that's a meme. Correct? Yes! The wandering travel uh, travel blog says on a scale of ninety nine percent to hundred percent. This is nothing. I can just skip sure this one because the they're just joking about. They don't believe that the account is not mine, right? About himself, like all of his all personal right. oh, expenses that no one cared about, no one talked about, and like talk about his wife's restraining order, which he seemed very apprehensive at first to talk about before the show. He didn't want to talk about it, and then he said he's like, "Fuck it, I'll talk about this." And then, but like, you're not gonna just show your username on a. He told me to do it. Wow, what a disingenuous ass he's being right now. Before the show, we were talking about exactly, you know, what'll be brought up. And they said, you know, what are things that, you you know, are off the table or whatever. And I was like, nothing. And they were like, well, we're not going to bring up anything but your wife. And I was like, but why not? People talk about my wife. They say horrible, horrible things about me and her, you know, all the time. Why not bring it up? And that motherfucker right there said to me, then bring it up. He's like, you know, he's like, well, for example, what? And I told him the story. And he's like, well, then, you know what? Bring it up. His exact words were, bring it up because I hate sh and the truth should come out then. He said that to me before the show started. So now it's okay to talk about that, but why wouldn't you show something else? You told me to talk about it. On a mobile app? Or it, not even to the public world, Craig? In a private email for him to be like, okay, it's not him, everyone. You know what I mean? Like, And I just and I already explained in this show why. Because just showing you any screen grab doesn't mean anything. You have to corroborate that it's real. So what I was going to do, because I didn't know he was going to ask me that on the show, I was going to say, okay, if he really wants this, if he's serious about it, I'm going to send him not only the screen grab from WWE Champions, I'm gonna show that it's the same account I use in other games, all the same name, all with, you know, everything on them, and I was gonna show him my Apple ID and the game account all together. Now, that's pretty much indisputable proof. If you had all of that and you're looking at it, like, okay, it literally lines up. Boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. That's what I was gonna show him, and I emailed him after the show. That 6.18 p.m. yesterday. That's exactly what I was going to do. I was just waiting for him to respond back, say, yeah, I'm at the email. You know, why? You know, you're gonna send it? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna send it. No, he literally didn't do it. He, 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 at that point, he was already 100% believing that I wasn't going to do it and I was lying. So he doesn't even want to see I'm the villain. I'm the guy who did it wrong, right? Yeah. I don't know, man. It, it was fucking weird. And then, and then he was saying, like, I'm not addicted to mobile, this, this mobile game. But I was addicted to the previous mobile That's correct. version of the game that people claim I'm addicted no, to. No, not the previous version. That's not even the previous version. They're completely different games. Supercard and Champions are completely different games. That's the truth. Why would, yeah, why would, of course I'm going to admit to what I did. What do you think I'm gonna do? What are you stupid? And also this other game that I was addicted to, but I and I had a problem, but I beat that addiction and I'm good now. Like it's fine. Like come on, dude. Really? What do you mean? What about it? What about it? Because people don't ever improve or change. Never. People never actually overcome problems in their life. This is the same guy on the show who's laughing when I'm saying, "Well, I'm changing now. I'm trying to be better." Ha 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 ha. No, it's not funny. You're an idiot. People do change for the better. 
<laughs> it's your it's your username. I, I think that's you know I think it, it it shouldn't be lost that we like we greatly appreciate Phil coming on the show and being so open about things. And then that should be then that should be it. We greatly appreciate it. All right, let's move on. Um, and, and, and and on that note, major props for staying the whole time. Mm -hmm. Like I, I honestly, I, I was shocked, and I, and I said this to him. Uh, I don't know if, if we were still live. Uh, before I, I dipped out after I said this, I was like, bro, you, like, props for staying. Like, you, you got some major balls for, like, dealing with stern interviewers. Because, like, we didn't right. go easy on Which it. Which is what I was there for. And, then and the reason I stayed is because I'm telling the truth. Do you think if... So <laughs> I mean, no, really. Okay, now we gotta be real. Hold on one fucking second here. If someone is guilty, why the fuck would they stick around for five and a half hours? Are you crazy? Why would they even agree to the interview? Why would they do it? It doesn't make any fucking sense. What? <laughs> you think I'm the villain? Go fuck yourself. Mr. Knox says, was DSP stupid or desperate for any form of clout to be a part of the interview? You're telling me, what clout did I get out of the interview? Zero. Zero clout. What benefit did I get? Did I make a lot of money? No, they didn't pay me any of that money that they made. Did I get any positive press from the interview? No. Not at all. Right? Nothing. Nothing at all. It was supposed to be me being a guest on their show. It wasn't supposed to be an interview to begin with. I was doing them a favor. Right? A favor. <laughs> Interview. Either way, this is freaking gold. He desperately wants to be relevant and desperately wants to be successful and just does not know how to do it properly. Despite the fact that I literally said on the show, I have no aspirations to be a big YouTuber. I have no aspirations to be successful. All I want to do is put out content for my audience and make a living doing it. Meaningful content for a small group is what I want. That's what I actually like more. I literally said this on the show and he thinks the opposite. Right. This, this was the it. closest he ever had right. to finally resetting, and he chose not to confirm with you, offer. Craig, and he chose to fucking talk shit on Keemstar after the show, and it's like, bro, what the Because Keemstar's a piece of- No one likes him, all right? People deal with Keemstar because they want clout or they want money, all right? That's why. I can say whatever I want about him. I'm supposed to kiss his butt because I was happy. I, I want nothing to do with the guy. I already said this multiple times. I want absolutely nothing to do with that man at all. Like I said, if, if he- if I ever had a business arrangement with Keemstar, he would literally try to control me for the rest of my life. He fucking talks shit about mental illness to people like, uh, you know, people like Etika and what happened there. He's falsely accused people on the internet, that, and he literally factually proven he's orchestrated events, dramatic events that weren't real to get stuff, popularity for his content. It's factually proven. The stuff you're accusing me of is not factually proven, it's bull- There's the salt, the delicious salt. If you have things to say to me, say it to, to my face. Why did you wait till the next day? Well, and he, he has such a, a high view of himself. You know, I, I said it to him, illusion of grandeur, man. Like, you, you really think that you're this freaking king uh, on this pedestal that everyone needs to worship you. And give what you the money. fuck are you talking about? Correct. Like, you have to adjust and cater to your audience, and he didn't. Correct. Like, his audience slowly grew <clears throat> in, the, in the wrong direction by people making fun of him. And instead of owning it and using it, mm -hmm out on his own audience when they didn't they didn't support him anymore and it was just like he just got worse and worse and worse it's just like bro it's so obvious like but he can't see it i what are you talking <laughs> what what this guy is a fucking dunce he did nothing he literally didn't do any research at all but what are you talking about i already admitted it we've already talked about it on streams in react events you fucking tremendous black hole of emptiness in your brain it's documented that I fucking talked about it. Why, and why is no one countering? No, actually, fair enough, he did say this because no one did the research. No one here did the research. It was just, we only listened to what the detractors said. And according to the detractors, he never grew, he never admitted nothing. They only listened to the detractors. What a bunch of fucking idiots. And, and, and I think that's important to understand and for, for you know, to be humbled uh, at, at a point. Uh, and, and that happened to me. That's happened to me where, you know... Um, and I, I don't think that's happened to Phil. What are you talking uh, about? Oh my, again, they watch nothing. They literally watch nothing. They've watched no content of mine. Anything within the last few years, they only watch detractor highlights. There's no way they could say like this and actually watched my content. It's not possible. It's just not possible. And they're supposed to be objective interviewers. They watched nothing. They did not, they did all the negative research and none of the positive. Again, did they ask a certain person, any one person who's a fan of my content, what do you like about Phil? What, you know, what's the positives about him? Why do you watch him if he has all this hate again? They didn't do that. We were giving you the realest mm -hmm. opportunity you have ever had to win back your audience. You, I, again, how? By saying I did something I didn't do. Like, thank God I didn't send them anything. Oh, uh, no, I'm not a sex god. I got them all written right here. Trav, you know, the, the funny thing is there, you know that paper was just blank. 
Yeah. Here, blank. Okay. The paper we're writing all over it? Here. Ready? It's literally still at my fucking desk, you idiot. God, these people. Again, you want to talk about disingenuous. My my phone bill, which I'm going to cover, the name of the company, and my uh, car insurance. Okay? Oh, you can't. Oh, there you go. Can you kind of see the writing? Oh, my God. You can't see it. The camera won't even adjust. Yeah. The point they're making is, you know, they asked, what are $5,000 a month in business expenses? I don't even know where that comes from because I don't know what they're talking about. You understand? Well, I don't get it. I don't even know what they're talking about. All right? I don't, you know, I have no clue what they're speaking of. Um, because I don't know if that's from the bankruptcy report, if that's a, a tax return, if that's data that was taken from a tax return and transferred to a bankruptcy report. I don't know what that entails because I don't know what's considered in business income one way or another for taxes versus, you know, bankruptcy report. I have no clue. Complaining and making excuses like a whining, crying, tear-eyed baby. Oh, Stuttering Craig wrote me an email. That's nice. <laughs> Craig, apparently right now you're ripping us a new asshole. What do you think I was going to do? Do you think I was going to be happy of what you did today? Your actions are heinous, dude. You literally came at the interview completely unfairly. You didn't approach it objectively. You admitted it in your email to me. All you did was sit and listen to the tractors. Then you sat and took money from the tractors. And then you sat and took money from the tractors again. This is not an interview. This is not professional. This is not what a professional would want to do. You literally are happy, right? You are happy, very happy that you got this. Don't be, don't lie now. Come on. I mean, seriously, dude. You're, you're so excited that this has happened for you, right? BSB's mental health. Uh, I think we're dealing with uh, someone that uh, that's a few sandwiches short of a picnic. Normal thought process goes from A to B to C. Instead, his process goes from G to hey, uh, to blue to hey, Macarena. Um, I think he needs to get help first before he tries to fix relationships around him. There's only so much uh, someone can take before it sends them to a dark place. Hopefully, he finds clarity. If, if it were true, if it were true that my mental health was bad, right why do you think that is craig maybe it's because when i have an opportunity that i actually think i'm going to be treated nicely or fairly i still don't get treated nicely or fairly right again there was nothing wrong with the interview if you had left it at that at that interview and that was the end all be all of it and we just and that was it that's it you right it would have been done and it would have been over with instead you did this this is completely underhanded dishonest shooting gallery attack phil take money to shit on him constantly this is wrong what you're doing here and i think that's that's probably one of the biggest things from yesterday is like we like i know personally and i, I know everybody here wants what's best for him as a human so what are you doing so what's best for me is to sit here for two and a half hours and take payments from my detractors and literally regurgitate the negative memes about me this is the best thing for me this is what's best for you bro uh, someone like dsp I, I he just wants that success without any of the the hard work i want all that success without any of the hard work I haven't worked hard. I'm the most, one of the most, I won't say I'm the most, I'm one of the most prolific gaming content creators in history. Like, it's definitely an ego problem. Be smart about your money. It was so clear throughout yesterday that he's a fucking idiot when it comes to spending money. Yeah, I said it, Phil. I'm not, oh, I don't care. I'm, I'm just being brutally say honest. Say what you want I'm about that. Asshole, all right, you get what you get when you're talking to me. All right, own who you are, all right? Put that fucking box of tissues behind you, because you did wank on screen, all right? Fucking own it. I did. You're never going to catch me fucking pulling my dick out live, because I'm not a fucking idiot, all right? <laughs> you made the mistake. You were This is hilarious, because you know this guy done, this done dumb shit. Probably not that bad. Like, you got to really think, like, what are you doing? You're just setting yourself up for the fall, dude. Because everyone who said shit about shit like this, to me, then they get exposed years later. It's not me that does it, but then they get exposed years later. It's way worse. Remember Pro Jared? All right? I'm sick of it. Stop being a fucking victim. I'm not, and listen, I'm not a victim. I already said on your show, no one should be contributing to me because they feel bad because people are hating on me. No one. I never, I don't want no pity party on the internet. If you're supporting me, support me because you like my content and you like me. That's it. I don't want people coming in. We don't have pity party streams and shit. We don't. So what are you talking about? You're lecturing the wrong person. All right, I'm you done. lectured the wrong I'm person. You literally, every point you made was wrong. No, man. Uh, oh, congratulations, okay. Adam! Okay. Adam! Good. With the most uninformed rant of the year award. Yes, Adam. It's everyone. Everyone, everyone, applaud this man. Most uninformed man I've ever heard talk about me, actually. I don't see my viewers as dollar signs. I don't say, oh, time to turn on that stream and let the dole start rolling. It's like, no, I want to turn on my stream and have fun, play a game, you know, have a conversation, do a fun podcast. That's what I want to do. And then the money comes along with that. We, but again, this is something I've reiterated a million times in my own content. This guy knows nothing about me. He's lecturing no one. He's literally lecturing the wall at this point, right? Feel it. They could, they could sense it when you don't give a shit about them anymore. And, you're, and then you start guilting them. Dude, 
you, you can't guilt your audience. They're going to support you if you're worth supporting. Okay? And you cease being worthy of their support when you see Who them as dollar signs kid? instead of people that live fucking lives that's life, as I said, life is tough. Alright? They're choosing to be- I'm not even gonna listen to the rest of it. Dude, he's- He doesn't even know what he's talking about. He doesn't know me. I mean, it's so bad. Like, you're yelling at someone who, who agrees with you. <laughs> it's like you walked into a church and you yelled out, God is great! <laughs> yes, Adam. Anyway. A kid that says DSP said he promised his wife he would quit mobile games, admitted he sank money into WWE, might cause a lot more trouble than just embarrassment. What? Uh, well, that would, that would actually make sense as why he can't let his username get out because he said that oh it would harm his family God. if his username got out. It's like, that actually, so he could be being honest. They're actually. making new conspiracies up now. Oh my God. I got a headache. <laughs> I got a fucking headache, dude. I got a serious headache. Yes, what I said, just to clarify, because now people want me to clarify on that statement. What I said was I stopped playing mobile games like I used to. Actually, I'm pretty confused right now. <laughs> but in the case of this interview, this was also a test. These guys were supposed to be, okay, neutral. They told me they were neutral. Like, that was the thing. That was crazy, you, you know, coming in from neutral perspective, fair interview. And that's definitely not what it was. But I, I believed them. I was like, let's do give this a shot, right? Right? Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. It went pretty much the worst that you could expect, right? Let's be honest here. Pretty much. But that's to be expected when it comes to me. No one giving me a fair shake or anything, right? So, it's this simple, all right? Because we're going to do a few shout-outs here. In a second for contributions, I'll read through them. Moving forward, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, I have no aspirations to be in anyone's interview or anything like this about this. Sh all right, at all, zero, because I don't know if I could trust anyone. If you know these guys were supposed to be neutral, how could I possibly be tr be you know trust anyone moving forward? Right, moving forward, if I want to talk to someone. They're going to be on my show. You understand? So if someone actually, you know, I have something interesting I want to speak to. Like, for example, I mentioned earlier, Review Tech USA is someone I would very much like to speak with and have a civil conversation about. Like, like just talking with this guy back and forth. This is the end of it. I'm happy now. that this, You know, because again, the bait was set for this to happen. It happened. So now I know. I will never get a fair shake. It's never going to happen. There will never be a fair shake for Dark Side Phil. Okay. We're done. We're done, guys. I gotta set up um Let me think about this. What do I gotta do? So I have to set up for the level one podcast tomorrow. And I have to set up for well, I have to make the playlist of the stuff I'm actually going to react to tomorrow. So <clears throat> cool. My angry old man rant has now ended. And now we can get back to regularly scheduled content here on the stream. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it i ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency no respect no common sense no fucking maturity is the guy who just doesn't get reality <laughs> Ha 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 ha!